What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Alfexi and welcome back today to Minecraft. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today it is time for a brand new episode of Minecraft One Life. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back. I hope you are good. Today begins the journey. What? Destroy the tree. Hold down left click. Hey, why are you giving me an achievement how to punch a tree? Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so yeah, how's everyone doing? I hope you are good. Uh, today is the beginning of our sort of more permanent base build. So I had this idea. I don't really know what it's going to look like. I haven't practiced building it. I don't really know what I'm going to do. But we are going to begin work on this today. However, as I'm sure you guys saw, hopefully if you saw last episode, we said goodbye to Justin. Oh, why? Why you do this? Yeah, um, <laughs> so we built a little shrine in honor of Justin, who perished episode one to episode five. Why were you in the nether, Justin? Why? Why? Have you learned nothing from the Minecraft? Um, but yeah, so we built a little shrine here in the water, which I think is, is kind of cool. This tree is a bit weird. I kind of noticed that after I finished the video, I was like, hey, I put the trees too close to each other, but it's all good. Maybe we'll get some shears and tidy that up at some point. Anyway... We need to try and find an area here, which is a little bit flat, where we can actually build our house. Annoyingly, I put the fancy cabin exactly where a perfect spot would be. <laughs> but I kind of don't want to demolish the fancy cabin, because it's kind of useful having it there. Although, maybe this area in the front here might be quite a good area. Although, having said that, I'm going to have to tidy up a little bit. So, first things first... Let me grab myself my axe. I'm going to have to cut down a few of these trees. And we're going to need to have a space in order to start building. Finally, I got rid of that stupid thingamajiggy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, apparently... Uh, well, apparently, I, I, I know for certain because I had to update my game. But uh, there has actually been a new update to the game uh, since the last time we played it. So, I think some new mods have been introduced, including... One, which slightly terrifies me, which is the amazing Mosey's mods. Now, I remember we did, like, a mod spotlight on this mod. I think we did a couple of them, actually, when it was being developed years and years and years ago. Oh, dude. <laughs> so, every time we have to update it, we have to, like, remove the mod pack and then put it back in. And I always keep forgetting to do the one that tracks my achievements. So, every single time I boot this up, which has happened twice now, <laughs> I have to start my achievements from the beginning. Really annoying. Um, but, yeah. So, anyway, we did some, like, mod spotlights on it way back in the day. It's a really, really, really cool mod. Um, but it's a super dangerous mod, so that should be kind of interesting. I kind of... I'm a little bit concerned about running into a few of those mobs. Um... Yeah, I need to clear out some space. Like, we need a lot of space here. So let me let me try and clear out some inventory stuff. Uh, we do have a backpack. The more I look at this, the more I think we might have to demolish the fancy cabin. Um, <laughs> it kind of sucks because <laughs> it was like our little starter base. But the thing is, it's like in exactly the right spot that I want to build on. And it's, oh, I don't know what to do. I've kind of cleared out some trees here now. But yeah, I, oh, I don't know where to put it, man. I mean, we could put it... The thing is, I like that spot because it's kind of, like, shielded by the mountain. Um, hmm. Hmm. Do we demolish the fancy cabin? I think we might have to. I mean, it served as well, but... I kind of feel that maybe if we want to build something cooler, we get... We, we want... I want the space, man. I want the space. We're gonna have to get... Uh, uh, oh, I don't know what to do. Why did I build it so fancy? Well, rest in pepperonis, the fancy cabin. You served as well, my good friend. You kept us safe from all the monsters and all that stuff. But it is time to do an upgrade. So, although the fancy cabin doesn't really look that fancy anymore, I have built <laughs> the very unfancy cabin. <laughs> but it will keep us safe. I can hear zombies, and I have no idea where they're coming from. No, I have not built my house on top of, a, like, a cave system, have I? No! Are you kidding? So one of the plans I've got for this structure is to go underground. You guys know, hopefully, if you've seen any of my other Minecraft stuff. So, um, what's a good example? The first Pixelmon, and most definitely the Crazy Craft series. I like to go and dig underground and make, like, rooms and stuff, which is why we've got all of this cool wood. Um, so I can kind of, like, have different multicolored rooms and stuff. But... Oh, jeez, hang on, I need to make a new pickaxe. <laughs> oh, well, usually this one's fine for now. Um, but yeah, so what I need to do is I need to go underground. But the only problem is, if there's mobs under my house... Why? Oh, the fancy cabin, what happened, dude? Oh, jeez. I mean, 
<laughs> We've replaced this with this. <laughs> Isn't it a thing of beauty? So all we need to do before we begin the build here is start to actually level off um, some of this space. Do I have any dirt just randomly? I mean, for goodness sake, whoever needs dirt? I need dirt. I need lots of dirt. Where's the dirt? Did I not save any of my dirt? Why did I not save any of my dirt? I need dirt. Help. Help. I need an adult. Oh, yeah. And we're going to need loads of squids. Lots and lots and lots of squid. We need that squid ink. Come here, sausage. Boom. Okay. Got 24 squid ink. We're going to need a lot more squid ink. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, let me, I'm going to go. I'm going to Hey, hey, come here. I actually put lily pads here in like this order so it would be easy for me to get to Justin's house and visit him. Oh, they don't work. <laughs> That's kind of sad though, right? Oh, the lily pads that never were. I may have single-handedly made the squid extinct on the server. <laughs> oh, there's some. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, yeah, still collecting squid ink. Still collecting squid ink. Oh, there's more. Yeah, okay, this is good, this is good. Let's have a squid party. Now comes the hard part. So what we've got to do is we've got to load in all of this random hardened clay that we got. We couldn't find any black, which is kind of annoying, but oh well, never mind. So boom, squid ink in the middle. Ah. <sighs> There we go. So we got our black stained clay. Hopefully this is going to be enough. Right. <laughs> uh, I guess we begin. I'm going to build it here. I think this is a good spot. Can you tell what it's going to be yet? Hmm? Ten points if you can guess. We're very early stages though. We're very early stages. Once again, I picked a really stupid shape to make. But if you can tell what it is, it's pretty good. What about now? Maybe you guys can start to see what we're actually building here. It's early days yet. We've got quite a few more layers to go. Oh, okay. Let's carry on. And slowly but surely, we have built up all of the layers. And we're getting there. We're getting there. So in case you can't tell what it is just yet, it's it, it's a beehive. Um, <laughs> I wanted to do a beehive because I was thinking, you know what? Bees? We seem to have played a lot of bees recently, of course. If you've been watching the Roblox, we are uh, a big fan of the old bee swarm simulator. So you know what? We've made a beehive. Ah, there we go. Boom. So, I want to close off the top now. Um, how's the best way to close it off? Maybe if we just do one final layer here and we just build it full. So, it's a bit of a funny shaped beehive, but basically this is actually... It's kind of just like the entrance hall. <laughs> so, we're not actually going to be living in the very top bit. What I want to do is I want to create like an underground complex of rooms and stuff. Kind of like a proper hive, I guess. Um... And yeah, there we go. So I sh we should probably put some torches on the tops because I have no idea when we're next to be coming up here. Da da, da da. There we go. And and if we get ourselves a little bit of distance, what on earth have we just built? Da da! It's a giant beehive. <laughs> Bear with me on this one. You may be looking at it and thinking, what on earth have you done? Bear with me. Trust me on this one. Trust me on this one. As I kind of mentioned, if you're someone that has seen our Minecraft stuff for a, for a little while with our previous builds, they always start off a little bit weird. And then we get into the fun bit, which is designing the insides. And that's the bit that I like the best. Uh, but yes, we have finally built our main base. It is a beehive. It is huge inside. Uh, I need to clear up the insides a little bit. So yeah, what we're going to be doing is this is basically going to be the entrance hall. Now, one thing that I also want to do is I was looking at all of these beautiful colored trees and I was thinking to myself, hmm, that gives me an idea. What if we try and transform this area into like, I don't know, kind of a, um, kind of like an enchanted bee forest? So I had an idea, and I actually, check this out, right, check this out. So it's super, super easy to make bees, uh, believe it or not. It's really, really easy. So I was thinking, right, check this out. I might actually make some concrete just to make them a little bit more vivid. Um, but yeah, basically all you need to do is just, oh, oops, hang on, let me get rid of that. Is if you grab yourself glass panes, and then you just get two, like, the colors of the bee, basically, you just, oh my goodness me, what the heck? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Boom, and boom. And you can make little bees. And they're super, super easy to do. So I was thinking, basically, let me go and put some of this wood away. Da, da, da. So yeah, I want to I want to do these bees. And I want to, like, place them all around this area. So I want them on top of the hive. I want them on top of the trees. And I was also thinking maybe what we could do, kind of like a bit of a, a, bit of a bee swarm simulator thing as well, is that we could actually change the color of uh, the backs of the bees. So this is like a bumblebee. But if we changed it to, like... Uh, I don't know. Hang on, let me... Uh, what color could we go for? Maybe let's try and find... 
We could do something a little bit like this. So if we got like a red one, for example, then we could make sort of red bees. Actually, hmm. No, I think I prefer it if maybe like all of them had the same color on the back. So maybe it's better to go with like black and a color. Yeah, I think I like that more. So, you know, you could do like a, I don't know, that could be like a rage bee, couldn't it, or something? And then if we change the color again, and we got like, uh, let's put some clay in, and let's go like a, a light blue. So let's grab those. And then we've got like another bee here. So we could go with like a different color bee like that. So I guess that could be, I don't know. Or could that be like a cool bee or something? Uh, but yeah, I want to place these all around the place. And I want it to be like a big enchanted kind of, I don't know. Hey, how did my parrot get up there? Unbelievable. Well, yeah, let's clean that up for now. And I think it's a case if you're going to have to bear with me. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna work on this a little bit for next episode. Um, so what I'm going to do is I need to light the place up. Because right now, basically what I've done is I've made a cave for mobs to spawn in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to light it all up. We're going to have to place wood on the ground. I'm going to design the interior to make it look like an entrance hall. Then we're going to have to start digging down. And then we'll actually have our rooms underground where we can store our stuff, where we can live. I want to have like a little area where we can put our collectibles, a smelting room. Oh. It's going to be a good project. It's going to be fun. All right. Okay. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, it's not Roblox, it's Minecraft. <laughs> Why'd you keep doing that? Because we do Minecraft done fun. <laughs> but until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rantio!